But there aren't that many IMAXs in the United States. Most of them are in San Francisco, big cities, Chicago, Dallas, New York, Los Angeles, Sacramento, places like that. You're going to have an IMAX theater in Riverbank or in Stanislaus County. Yeah. Riverbank in a, in a, in a town, thank you, in a town of 20,000. I am so like What's wrong with this picture? Nothing. The answer is nothing. You've got 380,000 people within 10 miles of here. So we think it's a good bet. It's an expensive bet, but we think we're going to be definitely the benefactor of that. And so will you as the user of it. It'll also be not only the IMAX, but every time there's an IMAX in 3D, Katie bar the door. You can see here the projected increase in attendance. Over the last, over the last uh, 15 years, we've had an average of, like I said, about 400,000 400, people visiting, in, visiting Riverbank to see a movie. In 2015, we had projected a 159% increase. We're at 167 through August. Wow. That's, by the way, that's without IMAX. What do you think is going to happen to people visiting Riverbank with an IMAX in your, in your town? That's the $64 question. What about just throwing out a wild idea? What about different forms of entertainment? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if we didn't have a drought, first thing I'd suggest is a water park. Mm -hmm. I'm a big water kid. Mm -hmm. But right now, I don't think that's appropriate unless you want to recycle the water, and I don't think that's going to economically <laughs> work out. But what about a bowling alley? What about uh, games? What about uh, a, a car racetrack? What about a ginormous penny arcade type of place?